Over the years, I've had more UIs than I can count. And I, I play the drums, so I can count at least a four. But out of all of them that I've had, I think this one is the pinnacle. I haven't changed it for a bunch of tiers because I'm so happy with it. And it works across the board for tanking, healing, DPSing. It's highly customizable. I think you'll enjoy it. Now, for the more advanced users, I'm going to get you squared away first. I know that you're not going to need every single piece of information that's on this video. So if you check the description, there's a little area tagged summary. You can click that little time code there. It's going to take you to a portion that'll tell you everything that you need to know, being a more experienced user, to uh, get the UI installed and be on your way. Now, let's get started. So first things first, we're going to download... Uh, a set of add-ons that will make up the majority of the UI. These are going to create elements on the screen that are going to feed us information that we can use to get better at the game. That's what a UI really is. It's uh, a visual component that we draw information from, and then we as players get to decide what to do with that information. Uh, so in order to get started, we're going to need an add-on manager. The one that I'm going to get as far as add-on managers go, is a wowup.io. Um, it's come through for me. It's easy to use. I enjoy it. It gets me everything that I need. There's plenty out there. This is the one that I'm going to use. Keep in mind, everything that I show you in this video, every website that I go to, every link that you will need is going to be on the description of the video. So go to a web browser, type in wowup.io, hit enter takes you to this website right here you can see uh the different operating systems i've got windows so i'm going to take mine in a windows flavor it's going to download once it's done downloading you go to the folder that you saved it in don't worry about anything else here and just double click the icon it goes through the installation process there no big deal and it puts an icon on your desktop looks like this so once this is all said and done it's going to come up you can either help them with telemetry or not. That's up to you. Uh, now, the, the folks at WowUp do great work. They've got a Patreon. You should check them out if you're so inclined uh, and you're able to support. So, I mean, what an add-on manager does is it allows us to pick and choose uh, what add-ons to install, and it just does it automatically for us uh, once we've chosen. You could install add-ons manually, but quite frankly, it's 2021 and it's time to get with the program, man. It also updates them for us, which is huge. Um, it's a good idea to open up your add-on uh, manager now and again to make sure that everything is up to date. Or you could just leave it open all the time, like a boomer. And before we install anything, just to make sure that there's no problems here, you can go to the options menu and make sure that the right folder is uh, selected. It has to go to your World of Warcraft folder this is where you would look in case it tells you that it cannot find it. Once all this is said and done, hit get add-ons. And right here you can search. There's a ton of add-ons, but we're going to use a very specific set just to get the UI elements Ugh. that make up my UI. We're going to search first and foremost for Elv UI. This is the bulk of the UI rework. Uh, I've been using it for years with zero issues. There's, I can't say anything other than that. It's just really good. I like it. It's the first thing that pops up. It's got 2 billion downloads. Uh, all you gotta do is hit install and that's ready to go. The second component is called Benic UI. Benic UI is an edit of Elv UI, which is going to change some things around to give us these really neat pieces of information I think you're gonna like it. So go to Benic, 3 million downloads, hit install, good to go. Next up, we're gonna look up Weak Auras. Weak Auras, honestly, deserves its own video. It's such a useful add-on. It's going to make you a better player, I promise you. Um, it's got it's this one, 94 million downloads. Go ahead and install it. It's such an important part of the UI that it's gonna get its own uh, segment, you'll see. Next up, we're going to look up Hiding Bar. I love this add-on. This was suggested to me on stream. 104,000 downloads. Um, it takes our minimap buttons and hides them in a way that is pleasant with Benic UI. It works out very, very well. 
And then you can get your favorite uh, damage meter for this video because it's what I use. We're going to look up details. Damage meter, 72 million downloads. Can't go wrong there. Hit install and good to go. So once everything is installed, you can hit my add-ons and take a look. Tells you if it's up to date or not. And every time you open this up, you can see what needs an update. Or you could just keep it open like a boomer. All right, now let's take a look at how we actually set all this up. It's not that difficult and it really is just a one-time thing because we're gonna talk about profiles. Profiles is really where the magic of this entire thing happens. Hopefully by the end of this, you'll understand why they're so important. Now, once everything is downloaded, let's fire up the game and get it all set up. Using the power of profiles, it's gonna go quick and you only have to set it up once and then your alts are good to go. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's take a look. Let's go on my priest, why not? So once you log in, it's going to look a little bit intimidating, especially if you've never used LVI before. There's a lot of options that are thrown at you sort of immediately. You don't have to worry about any of these with what we're doing because we're just going to import a profile that's going to set up everything else uh, for us. You can look through the options if that's something that you're comfortable doing. Uh, but that's entirely up to you and your level of knowledge with this stuff. When we first fire it up, it looks a little bit intimidating. There's a lot of stuff on the screen that is just... Ah! But we're going to make it easy. So here's what I want you to do. LVI installation. You're going to hit continue, 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 and finished. It's gonna reload the UI and load up the Benic UI install. Or not. I'm actually glad this happened. And the reason it did is because I didn't check my add-ons before starting the game. You're supposed to check load out of date add-ons, click enable all, and then click okay. Okay, it should load up a Benic UI thing. Same thing, continue, 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 finished. And this is where we're gonna make the magic happen. We're gonna hit escape. LVI profiles and import. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the link that I have in the description. It's going to take you to a website called Pastebin. It looks like this. This is the UI Pastebin link. It's a little intimidating. It's a lot of hoopla. Basically, all this does is it tells the add on what to put where you just go down to the very bottom, select the whole thing. Copy that, head back into the game, paste it. It should read Manny Berry's UI down here, hit import, and here it goes. Imported, beautiful, ready to go. Now let's do the same thing with my damage meter. Hit the little cogwheel there, go to profiles. You're gonna hit import, and this is where we're gonna go to the second uh, paste bin link. This paste bin link is going to be strictly for the details add-on. Again, I'm actually going to go to raw paste data on this one. You can do either or. Copy that. Back in. Paste it in. Hit OK. You can give it a name. I'm going to call this Manny Berry UI. Hit OK. And it puts it right where I want it, which is down there at the bottom right. You can right click on this. You can see all the things that you can add or track. I track DPS and HPS. Sometimes when I get upset at my raiders, I will look at things like interrupts and uh, dispels and things like that. It's a very useful sort of tidbit to have right down there. Next up, we're going to get our hiding bar all set up. That's this little uh, squiggly line right down here. You can click it and you can drag it all across your screen. You can put it wherever you're most comfortable. I like to have it right down here at the bottom with the way that my UI is set up. It doesn't get in the way of anything. You can also hit escape, interface, add-ons, hiding bar, and you can set up a bunch of options here. I like to lock the location so it doesn't go away. Right down here, if you have a lot of add-ons, their buttons will pop here. You can choose what to show or what not to show. Up to you. Uh, you can change how the bar behaves. All kinds of cool things. 
And my favorite, you can change the color of the bar. I like to set mine up to whatever class it is I am playing because it matches up with the Benic UI nicely. That's the, that's the, mm, that's some niceness. That looks great. Hit OK. OK. That's good to go. This leads us to Wii Chorus. I love this add-on. It's so good. Um, it displays graphical information on the screen that's going to help us like track buffs, debuffs, mana. It helps with your rotation. It is simple. It is powerful. I love it. If you pay attention to it, it'll make you a better player. If you've seen the Manny Shorts, you've seen it. It's smack dab in the middle of the screen. Now, here's the reality of the situation, right? It, it's such a versatile add-on that it can do a billion things, but we are going to pick the best setup that I've found for class weak auras, and that comes from none other than Luxthos. He does... Uh, a weak aura for every class. They're amazing. You can go to his website. He's a streamer. He does videos. You can check him out. You should check him out. He does He does a really good job of setting it up so that it has all the information that you need. They are dynamic, so they work across all of your specs. You don't have to worry about anything. It's delicious. So here's the deal. This is another wonderful link in the description of the video. It should take us to Luxos.com. This is the man's own website fantastic setup what we're gonna do here is we're gonna scroll down to our class which is priest click on that and now weak auras is one that you're gonna have to set up individually per character but it doesn't take very long here's what you do go to your chosen character we're doing priest here he does have instructions easy peasy all we're gonna do is uh focus on these three links right here first we want the core we're gonna click that it should copy it to our clipboard then we're going to return to the game. You're going to do enter to open up your chat forward slash WA. That brings up your weak auras menu. And we're going to hit import right at the top. We're going to paste all the gobbledygook. It pops up with this. Hit import group and just wait a moment. It should have all the flashies and all the fun stuff right down there. We're going to go right back to Luxos and click the utilities. The utilities is copied back to the game. Import, paste, should show utilities, import group. Bam, 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 bam. And these are all linked up. It's delicious. You don't even have to do anything. Back to Luxtos for the final time for our dynamic uh, buttons. And then that'll be the end of Luxtos. Hit paste, dynamic, import, bam. They're all good to go. They're all linked together. They are so useful. You're going to love them. Here's what I do with my weak auras, right? Because my UI is set up the way that it is with the bars where they are, what I like to do is, first of all, go to load right down here under core load. We're going to go in combat. I only want to see them in combat, really. And then you can go to group. This changes the uh, scale of the entire thing. And I like to set my group scale to about 0.8. I feel like that's good enough. And now that they are there, you can move them up, move them down. Just make sure that you're using uh, the group tab right there. Otherwise, it's going to be a little foofy. I like them right there. And really, that's the bulk of it. So let me show you what these uh, will do. I have it set up so that my target bar, my self bar, all these things are hidden by default when i'm just out in the world playing but when i enter in combat they will fire up and be on my screen at all times i can go to a raider's training dummy and the second that i fire off a spell you're gonna see them pop up and you can see what they do they track all my cooldowns they track my dots they track my insanity if you're in a mana user they will track your mana everything that i have it lights up when I need to refresh my Shadow Word Pain. This is such a good add-on. You're going to love it. It's set up per class. I'm telling you, this is delicious. And now here's my favorite part about it, right? Say I'm done playing Shadow Priest and maybe I want to try some disc. And I hop on over, switch on over to disc. And when I do this... The Lux, those weak auras, wonderful as they are, will also switch to disc, and it tells me what I'm missing, and my missing power, uh, power word fortitude. We can go to a target and start whacking it, and look at that. The weak auras have changed to display disc-only pertinent information. 
It is set up for your covenants. It is delicious. You're gonna love it. Now, let me show you some cool stuff that you can do with your hot new UI right here. Um, first of all, it keeps track of your professions right here under the mini map. You can take a quick glance at the professions that you have over here on the side. You have, uh, your FPS, your world MS, your durability, backspace, the volume of your game. If you click on this with your left mouse, uh, it'll disable sounds. If you click with your right mouse, it'll disable music. So you can just turn them on and off as you like. You can also look at your guild mates and your friends. Um, and it's it's neat to kind of get a look at it like this. You can see the message of the day and whatnot. If you use notes in the guild, you can also uh, hold shift and it'll show you uh, everybody's individual notes. Uh, we use a regular note and an officer's note to kind of keep track of people. You have all your friends right here. Up here, you can keep track of any reputation that you might be tracking. So for example, if I go to my reps, and I want to track my Ascendant rep. I hit show his experience bar. It'll show up right here next to the minimap at a glance. Your experience bar is right down here on the bottom right next to the damage meter. So that you can keep a, keep an eye out on that. Your quests are up here. I have my little uh, menu bar here with my character, my talents. All this right here. It's just really nice. It's concise. It gives me everything that I need at a glance. Makes it very easy to raid lead. I love this UI for that reason. Now, down here at the bottom, you've got all your bars. Uh, I use this little bar as sort of utility. I put my hearthstones on it. Uh, I have my mounts bound to it. You can show your stats down here. If you'd like, you can go and finagle with the options of the UI if you'd like to change those. And if for whatever reason, there's something that you want to change, all you got to do is hit escape, LVUI, toggle anchors and this will show you every single element of your ui if something is not to your liking you can move it around change it however you like i couldn't be happier with this ui i love it now remember those profiles i told you about because we're gonna use them right now i'm logging into a character that i did not set up the ui with this is a totally different character. UI has never been set up on him before. I'm going to show you how easy it is. All right, so here's the deal, right? You're going to log in. It's all going to look wild and crazy as it did before. Again, continue, 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 continue. Finished. It's going to do a reload. And it looks like this. So you can hit escape, LVI, profiles. And because we saved everything, it should be under existing profiles. Manny Berry's UI. Bang, bang, boom. One, two, three. You're ready to go. Cogwheel profiles. We've already created it. So it should just be select profile. Manny Berry UI. Bang, bang, boom. There it is. Right click to select your favorite. Donezo. From here on, I would go to Luxtos. Get my weak aura set up for this particular class. And I'm done. So in summary, uh, my UI is comprised of LVI. Benic UI and a few other little helpful add-ons to kind of keep everything in check. You can find all the import strings in the description of this video. That way you can just open up uh, your UI, hit import, toss the info in there, and it'll set it up for you. And remember to save your profiles so that you can just switch them between alts whenever you're done. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I really hope this helped you. If it did, drop me a like, uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what else you want to see from me. Uh, I'm here for good. I hope I'll be seeing you on some streams right here on YouTube. Keep an eye out on the tab on the side of your YouTube. If you're logged in, you might see me streaming. Pop in and say hi. And uh, that's it for me. I'll see you on the next one.